Hello everybody and welcome to day one of the Canadian Tulip Festival. Yes, the time is finally here and yes, it is actually snowing in Ottawa right now. So it's about two degrees on Friday, May the 8th and here we are at one of our early bloomers. This is the, hold on, let's make sure we get this right, the Pink Emperor Tulip. Obviously, they don't mind the snow. Look at that. The beautiful Pink Emperor Tulip, early bloomer. Same breed as our Liberation 75, but in pink. We chose an early bloomer for our Lib 75 so that folks could celebrate early by May 5th, uh, the Victory Day, and that they'd be up and blooming by the time we started our event. And sure enough, the emperors don't let you down. They come up with a pointed petal with a nice little crown shape. And we learned something special from the NCC the other day you'll notice there's daffodils sprinkled just every so often throughout the beds. See, there's a beautiful blush one. And the reason for that is that squirrels really don't like daffodils. So, that's news to me. I've been using all kinds of things. Blood meal they don't like. Um, uh, hair. You can put hair clippings on your tulip beds. They don't like that. But they also, if you're looking for something a little more attractive than a bit of hair, uh, they also don't like daffodils. So the NCC will put a few daffodils in to help keep the squirrels away. So we'll take a look at this bed and then we'll show you how our early to mid bloomers are doing okay yes it is cold Gabriel you're right <laughs> it is very chilly out today and luckily tulips don't mind so you'll see this beds getting ready to bloom here I believe we've got some of our lib 75s and they're just starting to poke their heads out. And I'm going to take you a little further down to one of our other early bloomer beds. A little more exciting than what we have here, which, oh, you're so close, guys. Look at how close. That's a guy. So we'll get there. We'll get there. Oh, no problem, Grace. Happy to do it. Normally, I'd be in the park with all of our staff and our volunteers, and we'd be getting the stage ready to go, and we'd be getting all of our shops open. And uh, now, it's mostly just me and all of you guys watching. Thanks, Henry. Not a problem. Ooh, look at this. Another set of nice early bloomers. What are we called? Oh, the amazing grace. Okay, ready? Let's look at these. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful pinks. Here, let me get down. Look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. This is called a double early tulip in rosy pink, the amazing grace. Isn't that something? Really stunning, love that. I think I'm partial to pink. All right, so right here, we're at the very south end of the park. So this is, if you were walking in, in a regular year, this is where you'd begin if you entered from the south end. And we'd have some archways and we'd have some info centers and we've had all kinds of stuff happening. And this year, you're just gonna have to stick with us online uh, at tulipfestival.ca. 
I do understand at the moment we might not be online, but we're fixing it fast. Got very busy this morning. And then I just want to put this up as well. This is the COVID notice for the park. Wait, wait, let's get it right. There we go. So walk through only for locals. Keep two meters apart or 26 tulips. No stopping, no photos, but we'll take lots and lots of photos. So we're waiting for full bloom before we uh, do our 360 tour or our aerial photography because we want to be sure that all of these are as in full bloom as we can get them before we start to do our fancy photography. So until they're fully up, we're thinking maybe Monday or Tuesday we'll do our aerial shots, we'll do our 360 shots. And of course you guys will be with me so you can get a little bit of a behind the scenes as to how uh, the aerial photography works, what a little 360 camera looks like, you name it. So typically this uh, south section is our art in the park. And normally we would have about six artists painting our beautiful pink emperor tulips every day, all day. Oh, why not no photos? Okay, um, because we don't want any clumping. So that means you're gonna stop on the path um, and it means that there's a possibility of, of clumping up together. So basically we're just trying to say, it be smart, stay six feet apart. Um, you know, if you're all alone and you're on the path, uh, you know, but uh, don't stop, don't bring a big rig um, so that we don't all kind of bunch together. All right, we're back to our pink emperor bed with our gorgeous blush daffodils that I learned about. Normally we would have our artists painting this beautiful scene. Gorgeous. And then I'm going to take you a little further up. And let's see, who's in this one? So that's also a double early in yellow and red, but they're not, they're not here yet. We got one lonely fella there. He's trying. He's trying his best. Ah, uh, hope to see you. See you too, Grace. I know, we had so many friends, so many fans. Looking forward to coming out. Oh, and there's Melissa. She would have been right in this section coming up. She's our fantasy face painter. Last year, she painted so many faces it was crazy. So we'll just take a quick walk over to what would have been the kids zone. And uh, I see some gorgeous yellow early bloomers up. So we'll go take a look at them. All right. You'll see all these beds still sleeping. I see this one's just starting to poke through here. Oh, a beautiful apricot. This one is lovely when it gets in, go in full bloom. Let's see who's up, who's up and who's awake in this bed. I don't know if you can see them, but on the sunny part of the top of the hill, they're starting to bud. And on the shady part, further down, we're just at this point here. Ah. Uh, oh, hi Chris. Yeah, it's always a little bit of a jealousy thing when I see British Columbia's blooms have already come and gone and mine have barely even started. So I can only imagine Sudbury's gonna have to wait a, a little bit longer.
All right. There we go. Another gorgeous little, oh, look at this. Isn't that beautiful? And this is a big mix of daffodils. Oh, Jennifer, you can walk through the park if you live within walking or biking distance. I hope that helps. Yeah, you know, the tulip, oh look at, here we go. The tulip is a really hardy flower. It started in the Himalayan mountain range, so they don't mind the cold. In fact, they really like it. They like super cold winters and super hot summers. Oh, look at the stripes on that fella. Okay. Let me just check our paperwork here and see what it is we're looking at on this one. Okay. This is, because that is a lot of beautiful yellow, and I want to make sure I give you the right name. So, let's see. I believe he's a double early, and I think he's the sort of peony tulip, where you get more than, um, four petals. So tulips only come in, in like um, four, eight, sixteen. That's how they come. So I believe these ones are an eight or a sixteen petal. Take a look at this. Gorgeous. And you see they've got some of these red ones that are the 16 petal. They're a peony style tulip. Isn't that gorgeous? All right. And now a very fitting sign on the neighborhood house right across the street. Thanks to all our frontline heroes. In fact, it's time for me to get back and uh, start delivering some tulips of thanks to frontline heroes here in Ottawa. All right, I'm gonna take a walk back. So a little sneak peek, not everybody's up, but we are getting there. Look at that. Can you see that guy? Let's see. Here we go. All right. So, we're going to head off now. The next time you see us, we're going to be delivering tulips of thanks. This morning, we're heading to the Briere Hospital to give out 400 tulips to all the staff. So, we will see you again, and you'll see me again tomorrow, bright and early, when we do our check-in. And uh, we'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching.